Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're at Filmora 13, and I am going to show you some of the new AI functionality that they have brought to their video editing software. They've got some really, really good stuff in here, and I'm going to show you four really cool things. Let's go. All right, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to generate AI music inside Filmora 13. This is a new AI functionality, and essentially, it allows you to create your own songs inside the editor and instead of paying for an expensive subscription fee like a lot of people do, well, just do it here all in one, all at once. I'll show you how to do it. The next thing I'm going to show you is their new AI text to video functionality. For those of you that maybe forgot to get B-roll while you're out shooting, don't worry about it. Now you can create your own scenes in Filmora with just a couple lines of text. I'm going to show you how to do it. After that, I'm going to show you their AI stylizer tool. This is really, really cool because essentially you can bring in creative and artistic filters to video. So if you've used Photoshop and you use some of their more, you know, artistic -y features where you create cubist art or impressionist art or you want to turn your image into a painting, well, now you can do it in video and I'm going to show you how to do it in one click. All right, last but not least, I'm going to show you how to separate vocal tracks from background music and background noise. If you're out filming and it's windy out and you got lots of wind sound in it and it just doesn't sound right, I'm going to show you how to do that. If it's a noise, if it's music, you're going to be able to separate the tracks. It's easy to do. All right, let's get started. All right, welcome back. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to generate some AI music here in Filmora. I want to state up front right away that this is commercially available music. You can use this for whatever projects you want. You can go ahead and do that. All right, with that out of the way, Let's kick it off here. So up at the top here, you'll see a few options. I'm going to click on audio, and then I'm going to go under AI music. I'm going to click on the tool here. When I do that, you'll see generate AI music. Let's click start. Now, when I do that, we've got this new option here, and we're going to go ahead and just create some music using the AI music generator. We have three things we can do here up at the top. We can select a mood, a theme, and a genre. Down a little further, we can select the tempo, we can select how long the music is going to be and how many different songs or musical snippets we want to generate at once. So let's go through this step by step. Now, before I do that, let me show you what we're working with here. I've got some B-roll here of this guy. Maybe he's video editing, maybe he's developing or something. But what he's really doing is thinking about the beach. So that's the B-roll that I want to create music for. A guy who's off in dreamy land thinking about going to the beach with his dog. Okay, here we go. With that in mind, let's click on Start. And then boom, mood. Well, this for me is hopeful. So I'm going to go and select the hopeful mood. And again, you can mix and match these as you see fit. I'm going to go with this one here as hopeful. The theme I'm going to go with is I kind of think he's got a dreamy, you know, thinking forward kind of look. So let's go with, I don't know, you know what? I kind of like travel. He wants to travel to the beach. So here we go. We got hopeful. We got travel. And then for genre, well, you know what? I don't have a particular genre in mind. But if you did, you can go ahead and select it and it will be very specific. So I'm going to let the AI decide for me. Finally, I'm going to leave the tempo at normal, although I can go low or high depending on what I was looking for. And then very importantly, the music duration. If I take this to five minutes, we're creating full songs. In fact, the average song is like, what, three and a half minutes? So that's even more than a full song. <laughs> so there you go. If you want a five minute song, you can do that. In this case, I'm going to take it down to the bottom because I got like 15 seconds of B-roll, so I'm just going to make it a shorter one. And then last but not least, you can generate more than one audio track at once. So I'm going to move this all the way up to six. So I'm going to generate six tracks at once, and then I'm going to click start. I'll come back when this is done, show you what we got. All right, let's see what we got here. So we got six songs on the right side here. Let's click on them and listen to a couple of them. Okay, that sounds like pretty good B-roll music to me. Let's listen to another one. Okay, that's pretty good, but maybe that belongs more in a scary movie. But hey, you know what? I didn't specify the genre, so hey, you get what you get. Let's listen to another one. All right, a little bit of a riser in there, and then maybe let's listen to this one here. Yeah, awesome. So I like I, I like them all. They've all got their own uses. I'm going to go ahead and use the first one. I'm going to hover, though, on these three dots here, or ellipses. And when I do that and I click on it, you'll see here that it says, very simply, commercially available. So you can use this. It is confirmed. Okay, good. 
So now all I got to do is just click on this little download button and it's going to add that to my library. So I'm going to click out of here and then on the left side, yeah, let's close the generator and then let's just go over to AI Music Generated and there you go. There's the track and if I want to apply it to the videos, I could just drag and drop it underneath and that's it guys. So that's how you generate AI music in Filmora. Let's get to the next one. All right, the next thing I'm going to show you is their AI text to video. It's really, really cool. And this is ideal for creating B-roll, especially if you're out shooting and you maybe missed a shot. Don't worry about it. We'll create it right now. So here we go. I'm going to click on AI text to video. Note that this is under new project here on the project screen. I'll click on that and then presto, up pops the box. AI text to video box. And I'm going to type in sunny day on the beach with mountains in the background something simple like this again i'm just trying to create some b-roll and then underneath here you'll notice that you get an audio voiceover so if you want that great if you don't you can always of course mute it or delete it and you can select the video ratio i'm going to go with 169 and then i'm just going to click on the text to video and there you go it's generating the video i'll come back when it's done show you what we got all right, so let's take a look here. So I asked for a sunny day on the beach with mountains in the background. And that's what I got here. I've got a sunny day on the beach and the mountains are right there. So that's basically what I ordered. So there we go. Now, if I hit play, listen to this. You're going to hear some audio. And of course, we can decide if we want to keep it or not. Sunny day on the beach with mountains in the background. Okay, good stuff. So we got the B-roll that I was looking for and we got some audio. Now, for me, I'm going to go ahead and delete the audio because I created audio with the AI music generator so I don't really need it for this one here so I'm going to go ahead and delete it but again you could keep it if you were so inclined finally you will notice here that if I click here you'll see that we've got these captions and I can keep them or delete them depending on what I want but literally that is all there is to it to creating AI generated video in Filmora 13. All right the next thing I'm going to show you is the AI stylizer this is the tool that allows you to bring Photoshop style filters to video and you can do that of course in Filmora 13. So all you got to do first off is under new project click on AI stylizer. When you do that you're going to see this box open up here and then it's simple just import some footage that you want to use. So I'll just click on import here and then I've got some footage right here. Let's just click on this nice little boat beachy type scene. It's very very just generic footage no big deal. We're going to stylize this and make this look cool. On the left side here, let's go ahead and hit stop here. I got all of these different options. Now, currently there are 20 of them and no doubt they're going to increase over time. So let me show you a few of my favorites. If I want this to look like a cubist painting, well, it's one click application done. And if I hit play, it's applied to the entire video. Same thing for expressionist. And I mean, you can see where this is going here. Vintage style is quite nice as well. This actually color corrects it a little bit at the same time. So it gives you that nice retro look and a little bit of brighter contrast. And again, there's many different nights. If you want to go Van Gogh with his Starry Night painting, there you go. And it's all in here. Impressionist is also really, really great. So there you go, guys. That's all there is to it. When you got the style that you want, just click on export. Job done. You've applied a Photoshop style filter to your video. All right. The last thing I want to show you is their new AI vocal remover. I'm going to show you how to take audio that sounds like this. Let's take a quick listen. Brand promises to you, everybody. You can hear the wind in the background. I'm going to make it sound just like this, which is much, much better. With one click, I might add. Brand promises to you. You hear that? The audio is fixed. The noise, the wind is gone. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so we've got some footage in our folder here. I'm just going to drag and drop it on the timeline as you do. I'm going to make sure that all the tracks are turned on and not muted. And now the first thing you want to do is you want to right click on the actual footage here and then you want to detach the audio. And the reason why is because it's easier to see what you're working with here. So we now have the video on one track, audio on a separate track. Now making sure that you're clicked on the audio track, which in this case is called Windy Highlight. I'm going to right click on it and you're going to see AI Vocal Remover. Select that. It'll take a few seconds. It will analyze the clip. I'll come back when it's done show you the next step. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Here is the original video. Here's the original audio, but here's where it gets interesting. It's separated out the good, which is him speaking, from the bad, which is all the background noise. And let me show you how I know this. I'm going to go ahead and turn all of these clips off here, and I'm going to turn the bottom clip on. And listen to this. 
This is very interesting. That is the audio it eliminated. Now, if I turn this clip on here, so I'll, I'll make sure that one's turned off at the bottom, and I'll even turn this one off here. And this one here is the fixed clip. Listen to this. Let's go from here. That's one of our brand promises to you. Everybody gets paid on heart. They have fixed it. It is wild. AI did that. So I would delete this little audio snippet here. I would just cut it out. And I would cut out the background audio as well. Maybe I'll move that up here. And then now, let's listen to the final copy. That's one of our breath. That is fixed audio. That's how you get rid of background noise and fix bad audio in Filmora using AI. All right, guys. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.